what I'm going to do here is I've got to connect all three of these together. There's a couple of different ways you could do that. One way would be to cut three of these all the same length and then um, create a fourth one, a little pigtail, yay long or so, bend that back and then you'd have to take a wire nut and connect all four of those under a wire nut, push that in the wall so you only have one coming out. That way you hook up that one to the plug. But then that takes up a lot of your room and most electricians don't do that because room in your box is what you want. So usually what you do is you install these little ground caps and it's just a round little cap. Do you see that? And we're going to connect these ground wires in such a way, crimp these on there so that we can push everything back. So when you're at the store, you're going to have to get a little box of these ground caps. They sell them in, uh, you know, 25 or 50 at a time. So that's how you want to get those. I hope you can see all this because I'm right up in the corner. I'm moving the camera over a little bit. Okay, so we're going to just take two wires and we're going to connect those. I'm leaving the longest one out for right now. All right. Let's just make believe we got two wires in here. And, and what I like to do is do the shortest wire because remember this, this wire here was the existing one that was in the, um, the outlet box. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to work with that one first. So what I'm going to do is take these and I can overlap them, okay, and just put a loop in it like that. Get it back there as far as you can. Now I'm going to take my pliers and give it a couple little twists. I want to keep those ground wires together, but the last thing I want is to make too many twists in there. Twist it, twist it, twist it, twist it. You do that, you get it so tight, you think, oh, this is cool, and pretty soon you snap it right off. If we do that, then we're in a heck of a little quandary. Okay, now I've got my little cap and I put it over that. I'll push it onto that the twist that I have in there. And I'm going to crimp that down on top of that. And that's going to kind of help hold that. Okay? Now they got a little special tool that you can get, a little crimper tool, but I don't have one. Well, that's going to work. See? I've got some wire strippers. Here's my wire strippers for later. And some wire strippers, they've got this other little thing right in here where this goes out further and it's a little nib so that you can put this over that and then the nib hits that and you squeeze down on it and it puts a dimple right in the middle of that. Okay? But these strippers don't have that. So I can't use that for that. So I just smash it over like that. Okay, now I take my cutters and I'm going to cut off the shortest piece, but I'm going to let about a half inch, three eighths of it stick out, okay, of the one piece. I'm just cutting one piece right now. Now I can take that and fold it up over my clamp, my little crimper, okay, I take my pliers back in there, smash that over that. That just kind of helps hold everything together. You know, you got to do something with that end too. Plus, that makes it easier. I don't want to catch that on anything, okay? So now we're down to two wires. Guess what we're going to do with those? You're right, the very same thing. 